Welcome to Knowledge Forum. Knowledge Forum is a next generation software environment based on over a decade of research by the CISL project. CISL stands for Computer Supported Intentional Learning Environments. Knowledge Forum is about improving ideas. It encourages users to work jointly or on their own to contribute ideas and information to a communal database, creating a resource for the entire community. Ideas can be revisited, critiqued, built on by others, organized and reworked in a variety of ways. To help you understand Knowledge Forum, we have combined real student notes to simulate a knowledge building inquiry that would in real life occupy several weeks. Teams of elementary school students are studying systems of the human body. We begin at the vision view with a student who is a member of the vision team. Let's open this color and brain note. It's really interesting. She's trying to understand how rods and cones help you to see, and her theory is that your brain needs to get involved before you can see color and depth. I'm going to build on this note. First, I'll write my theory. I'm working on the idea that the eye sees things upside down, and it's actually the brain that makes us see things right side up. Knowledge Forum provides scaffolds that help learners to communicate both their ideas and the nature of those ideas to the rest of the community. These can be customized to suit different forms of inquiry. In this note, the student is using the theory building scaffold. Now I'll add some keywords so people can find my note easily. I'm going to search the database for notes with the keywords eye and brain. The student uses the search feature to find all of the notes anywhere in the database with these keywords. Here's a note from Marco. He's on the brain team. He's talking about photoreceptors and how the eye and the brain work together. I'm going to use this note as support for my idea that the brain and vision are connected. The quote feature allows students to reference someone else's work in their notes. Selected information is added as a quote and the bibliography is automatically compiled. A simple click takes you to the cited note. This information about photoreceptors helps me understand more about the relations between the eye and the brain. The student reads another note and makes another discovery. Great. It looks like some people on the brain team are working to understand the visual cortex. We'll have to get together. This sets the stage for further collaboration. As students build on each other's work, their efforts result in the increasingly elaborated networks of ideas that can be seen on the view. As students connect with different groups working in different views, they begin to realize how much different parts of the body affect each other. They decide to combine their knowledge and set a new goal for their research. To do this, they create a new view. They write their new goal, how do different parts of the body interact, then they come up with the idea of creating a picture of the human body and linking all of their work to it. First, the vision group links their view to the human body view. The brain researchers link their work. And in this way, all of the different groups make their work available to everyone else. They then form new teams and begin to contribute new ideas about how different systems of the body interact. While these students were actively finding connections with the ideas of their colleagues, other students were making a different kind of contribution by reflecting more deeply on their ideas. We see this in the contributions to the database made by a student working on the circulatory system. This student is learning about the heart. He wants to review the history of his theory about the circulatory system. The student uses the search feature of Knowledge Forum and finds three of his notes on the heart. He sorts them by date. Let's listen in. This is the first note I wrote in the beginning of the unit before I had done any research. I thought the circulatory system transported blood to and from the heart. After I did some research on my problem, I changed my theory to explain the circulatory system really circulates blood to different organs in the body. I was in the library and I found a book on the circulatory system. It had great diagram of it. From this picture, I was able to put together a bit more of how it works. Since my theory has changed so much from the first note I entered in the database, I think I'll add a rise above note to tell the story of how my ideas developed. Well, 
At the very beginning, I did not have many theories at all, but I began to dig deeper. After completing his Rise Above note, the student drags and drops his earlier theory notes into the Rise Above icon. He then contributes his Rise Above note to the heart view, replacing his three older theories. Research has shown that learners using this approach to learning outperform the control groups on both standardized tests and a variety of knowledge and depth of inquiry tests. The knowledge form approach to learning is currently being used in K-12 to university settings around the world. Knowledge form databases can be accessed over a local area network or over the internet using either the knowledge form client or a web browser. Users anywhere can connect, assuming that they have access privileges which are determined by the local user. For more information about KnowledgeForm, please visit our website.